Welcome to BOC. This film is designed to help you weld safely, get the best possible results, as well as save you time and money. So whether you're just starting out on your career, already use welding in your workplace but want to achieve far more, or just want to get started, this video is for you. We're focusing on mag welding some mild steel, a typical workshop task, offering useful hints and tips, and all with one goal in mind getting the job done right and first time. Even if you're using the best equipment, achieving the best possible weld is also about having the right experience and a feel for what you're doing. However, there are several useful basics we'd like to share with you. Before getting started, we need to ensure that we have the appropriate welding parameters and welding positioning. Why are these elements so important? Wire tension is key because we want to avoid too much tension which might deform the wire, and that can potentially slow the wire's speed rate and have a negative effect on weld quality. Wire positioning is also vital, and what this means is the amount of wire stick out from the end of the shroud. Approximately 10 millimeters is ideal. We need to see the weld being deposited and less than 10 millimeters would make this difficult. However, we do not want too much wire extension either. We would be too far away and could potentially negate the benefits of using our shielding gas, Argo Shield Light, because atmospheric gases could get into the weld arc. Being comfortable and steady whilst you are welding is also important, so finding the right position is key. For welding in a standing position, ensure you are comfortable and have clear vision of where the weld is to be deposited. We also need to hold the torch at the correct angle to apply the weld. The ideal torch position is 90 degrees from the bottom plate whilst leaning back approximately 60 degrees. Now that the weld is underway, it is important to achieve the correct travel speed for the material which is being welded. Travel speed is the speed at which the arc moves along the weld joint. Our welder needs to find the right travel speed avoiding going too quickly or too slowly. If the travel speed is too quick, the weld will be too thin and lack strength. However, if we go too slowly, we could be in danger of overheating the metal and possibly melting the base material. Here are some examples. Experience and practice obviously helps a great deal. However, the welder should constantly keep an eye on the weld deposit and evaluate it. This is a good weld. Its characteristics are a uniform weld deposit, a satisfactory weld width with reduced or no spatter. We hope you have found our hints and tips on the basics of mag welding to be useful. Don't forget, set your wire stick out to 10 millimeters, find a comfortable welding position, hold the torch at the correct angle, find the right travel speed for your weld, keep an eye on the weld deposit as you weld. 